Okay, hi everyone. So today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem. So it says a wheel of uh, moment of inertia 0.5 kilogram meter square and uh, radius 20 centimeter is rotating about its axis at an angular speed of uh, 20 radian per second. It picks up a stationary particle of mass uh, 200 gram at its edge. Find the new angular speed of the wheel. Fine. So this way we have a wheel. Its uh, radius is given and its moment of inertia about its axis is also given. And there is a particle of mass small m. Initially this particle was at rest and this wheel was rotating with uh, some angular velocity. Let's say initial angular velocity. Everything is given. I ka value aapko 0.5 de rakha. Initial omega is uh, 20 radian per second. M is uh, 0.2 kilogram and radius is 0.2 meter. Right? So pehle hum apna system define kar lete hain. And let me define my system as this uh, wheel plus particle. This is my system. What is the initial angular momentum of the system? You can see it will be i into initial omega because this particle hai, iska koi angular momentum nahi hoga about this axis because it is not uh, moving, right? This is stationary. Hai. Now what happens? Ki ye jo particle hai, ye stick ho jayega to the edge of this wheel. Somehow this jo particle hai na, ye is wheel ke pa uh, perimeter se ja ke attach ho jayega. So what will happen? There will be a torque exerted by the wheel on the particle so that the omega that is the angular velocity of the particle can increase at the same time there will be a torque applied by the particle on the wheel so that its angular velocity will decrease right so internal torque lagega between the particle and the wheel because this uh, particle and the wheel is the part of the system right so that is kind of internal torque equal and opposite torque lagega just um, uh, you know uh, system define karke linear momentum jab study karte the so wahan pe in internal forces lagte the same time same uh, tarike se yahan pe internal torque lagega but net external torque on the system is zero it means angular momentum change nahi hoga system ka now finally kya hoga ye jo wheel hai aur ye jo particle hai ye ek common uh, angular speed se move karenge let's say omega final so is time pe angular momentum kitna hoga that will be simply i i plus in mr square that is the moment of inertia into omega final this is your final angular momentum you can equate it to initial angular momentum because if net external torque is zero then angular momentum cannot change that is the law of conservation of angular momentum right so from here you will get the value of omega final omega final will be simply i into initial omega divided by i plus mr square now you can put the values and got the numerical answer right so i think you have understood let me know if you still have any confusion we can discuss further okay guys keep working out best of luck bye